Stovall asks parents not to take their frustrations out on bus drivers because they have no control over the routes. And to give us a better idea of just how expansive some of these routes are, here's WDRB's Katrina Nickel. Katrina? Well, bus drivers said part of the problem is that there are compounds all over the country. Bus routes take them to the opposite side of the city. Take this route for Rutherford Elementary, for example. The driver begins their day here at the Burks bus compound. They then drive 11 miles up to its first stop, which is on East Indian Trail, and then continues all the way up around Old Louisville and then back down near Churchill Downs before it then makes a stop at the Nichols bus compound, where kids get on a second bus to take them to Rutherford. Now, all these new routes came from JCPS's decision to change start times and consolidate routes. In and instead of two start times, there are now nine, ranging from 740 to 940. Those staggered starts were supposed to give drivers more time to get 65,000 students to and from school. The plan also eliminated 130 routes going from 730 to 600. JCPS worked with consulting company Alpha Route to create new routes. The company's software was supposed to shorten bus rides, but in the end, that didn't happen. Drivers and the bus union leaders say computers did not take into consideration traffic and the location of those stops. Yeah, and we'll see if he said a half dozen or more, that number, if it grows, makes it only harder for JCPS if drivers do step away from the job. Thanks, Katrina.